Hi, this is Chuck Russo, and I'm teaching World History II and World History II Honors. This is my third year at Woodson, and my second year of teaching World History II after teaching World History I last year. I retired as a general manager of a moving and storage company after a 40-year career. I live near Woodson and enjoy my walks to and from school when the weather cooperates. My son graduated from Woodson in 2010 and also attended Old Creek and Frost. So the way we'll run our class is pretty simple. We're gonna do attendance. It will be taken within the first 10 minutes of class. And every effort will be made to have the notes and PowerPoint used in class. A typical class day will consist of starting our day with a 10 minute news recap called CNN 10. Could be a top news story along with other interesting clips about different things happening around the globe. On 915, for instance, we watched a clip about the vaccine mandates as well as one addressing methods to grow coral reefs around the world. Students will use their electron, students' use of electronics will be limited to their laptops. And classwork may consist of worksheets, reading, and using the Cornell note system to develop note-taking skills, as well as working on any projects that may arise. So our organization, our class will be listed by units showing assigned work and tools used in the classroom. Currently, we are in unit one for another couple of weeks and we'll have a unit test. The last week of September is the plan as of now. And once they go into the course, the viewers can, should be able to see what is happening at all times within the classroom and the course between PowerPoints and other assignments that are given. Students will need to access their textbooks, which will be uh, put into Schoology by unit, and they can download that and they can save that and they can read those as they need to. Our syllabus has been handed out to all of the students to share at home. And I can also load it into Schoology at some point if needed. And grades will be based on classwork, projects, quizzes, and tests. If any need arises, I will not hesitate to contact home to the contact emails that are listed in our system. If there is something pressing that cannot wait for an email, I may send a phone call home instead. Contact will be only on an as needed basis unless we discuss and more frequent contact is requested. And I can be reached at email when needed. I'm committed to a response as soon as possible, depending on when the email is received. And my email address is cjrusso at fcps.edu. Thank you. And if you have any questions, please email me at any time. If you need to check on your student, I'll be more than happy to get back to you as quickly as I possibly can to fill you in and give you an answer. Thank you for sharing and listening.